What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Earthbound in the last part. Um, we made it all the way to Tucson. This is a completely separate file than the last part because uh, the recording was a bust, and uh, not only that, um, I actually recorded pretty far in the game in the last session, and like, um, the whole recording was a bust. It's a friendly reminder to a test recording. I'm using different settings now, and I did a test recording, so this should go good. Now, uh, my items are different, and uh, I'm still at level 11 because I went out of my way to keep my stats as much the same as possible. Now, we're in Tucson. Listen to this amazing music. Like I said in the last part, whoever did the composition of Earthbound should have gotten a raise. And, uh... And oh boy, here comes Derek again. It is taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, here you finish the memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuss. Yeah, what a great photograph. It always brings the funnest of memories. Anyway, so if we go into the cycle shop. This is the cycle shop, Punk Shore. Bicycles are so much fun and are so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. It's really popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Yes. Before do we don't have any more bikes for sale? We only have rentals. You want to rent one? Yes. I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what. I'll let you borrow a bike for free. Let's get the bicycle. You know, two people can't ride on one bicycle, so of course three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Did you know that you can, can't ride with a bike without anything following you? Teddy bears, for example, carrying a bear and riding is impossible for you. Uh, it wouldn't be in real life. Don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. Yeah, so this isn't really like, this is kind of like the bicycle in Pokemon, except not exactly. Um, I'll kind of show this. It does let you go faster, yes, but you have very limited use of this. So, and if you press L, you have to buy. So, what does this old woman say? I see you're young, but you have, you've had some adventures. I think that Paul would be a good friend for you. Now, um, other things we're going to go Tucson. Whether it, get out two hundred dollars in the ATM because you're going to need it. I saw some weird bad guy following Paul. This guy gives me the creeps. And I also recommend doing another thing, which also involves taking out more money. Yay, I'm so tough with this guy. This department store isn't crowded, I like that. I always feel much better after hearing my mom's voice over the phone. I was really homesick recently, my mom chewed me right up. You should call your mom sometime. Believe me, these melancholy feelings will be gone before you know it. This is basically describing homesickness, which is a rarity that can happen depending on what level you are. I used to think, like... It was like depending on like how long it was since you called your mom. Apparently it's dependent on what level you're at at what point in the game. I don't know exactly the uh, theory behind homesickness, but I think I learned it while researching for this playthrough that it is based on your level. You wanna buy a ticket for the Runaway 5 show? Uh, we need that later. Oh, I'm just looking for a customer. Would you like to return something? This is basically another one of those Escargot Express-like things. Like, oh, we can return the hamburger. You can't return certain items, but, uh... We can return some hamburgers, so I don't think we need them anymore. Yeah, my inventory is different than it is in the last part because it's a different file. Blame me for getting so addicted to this game that I realized while well, editing the recording is a bust. I heard the meteorite crash on our hilltop near Onet. That must be exciting. Yes, and we were witnesses to that. My grandchild is older than you. He's a famous inventor. He lives here and people call him Orange Kid. He seems to be popular with the girls because he's groovy. I mean, this is a burger shop, and uh, if we talk to her, um, pretty much the same thing as we could get in Onet. This is the bakery. Pretty much the same as an Onet. Yum, yum, I'm eating a skip sandwich. It makes me want to start skipping. I saw it on the TV and I just had to try one. I bet I can really move up to eating this. So yeah, skip sandwiches basically make you go faster, as I've already explained. Visit my boyfriend in three. Kept the bus won't go there. I wonder why. Except the bus won't go there. The teddy bear they sell over there. I heard it helps in battle. I don't know what they're talking about. It looks like a plain old teddy bear to me. Happy Happy Village is going to need more and more and more blue. Do you get it? Yeah, so we're actually going to take out some money because I need to buy some items. Actually, we already did. We take out money? No, we didn't. Uh, but I need uh, money. 
if we take out the if we talk this guy um we can't exactly we can get the slingshot which is a higher um which is a higher attack weapon except the downside with the slingshot it has very low odds of hitting so we're not gonna buy that hi can i help you now one thing i recommend buy as many cold remedies as possible buy as many we're gonna buy as many as we can afford for like 200 dollars but yeah, we're gonna buy a, a lot of cold remedies because this will drastically help in the next part of the game. It looks like this is all we can afford, but uh, yeah. Basically fill your inventory with cold remedies. I just also realized we need to buy a hamburger, so I need to, uh, I need to take out a few, because uh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of the hamburger because I totally realized we also need it for this part of the game, but uh, I'm gonna buy some dirt sheep. I didn't mean to talk to you. <laughs> Mind you, come on, baker guy. All right, uh, we're just gonna buy a cookie, so we can, s nothing special, we're just gonna buy a cookie. You might be asking why I need a cookie. Well, you'll see in a bit. Um, the department store will also let you call your dad, much like the hotel. Anyway, so we we'll talk to this guy. I got some weird bad guy following call. This guy gives me the creeps. If we talk to these guys, the chaos theater. If I had some connection, I'd just walk right in, but I'm just a regular Joe. I keep standing in a queue. I love the, the, the words that start with queue. Clean, quiet, quick. I'm in a line here. I want to take it for today's show, but I may not get it. Ah, uh, story of going to shows. Actually, just buy tickets online these days. We, that's right, we're the Runway Five. We're popular, but we're not rich. We've been cheated by the theater, and we're really deep in debt. That's always what I play to sound like. These guys are also based off the Blues Brothers. And also in the Japanese version, they had black suits, much like the Blues Brothers. We may be popular, but that girl who lives in the house in the preschool is a tuck of the town. I want to see her someday. And my god, you sound creepy by saying that. Now if we talk to this guy, there was a kidnapping, believe me, even though I'm just a dog. Woof. And can that new enemy come? Actually, this isn't really a new enemy. It's just the cop, the same cop we fought in uh, on it. Except I am going to need to heal. Yeah, I have some. You want to have some foresight that they're going to use the more dangerous attacks like these, like these. Yeah. Oh fuck. We are not game overing again. And the second time I had to fight the cops, I went, I, di I did it without dying a single time. Anyway, so um, we didn't actually really see any of the new enemies here, but um, we talked to this guy. That stupid slob, the applicant, always asking for something to eat. He's the inventor, he should invent some food for himself. So you're basically saying he's DSP. Sorry I had to. I'm nuts about this one kid inventor. No, not that airheaded dweeby apple kid. I'm talking about the incredibly hot orange kid. Paula isn't here. She suddenly left. I don't know where she went. Apple kid a visit though, because they're saying not, they're saying not to go to Apple Kid, but let's go to Apple Kid. I have some sort of neglected doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. When I want to know when the last time you took a bath was. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? Uh, yes, uh, we have a cookie. Cookie. Thanks. You seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe we'd like to invest some money in my inventions. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, really, it's $200. Thank you. I won't let you down. Even though the times people recommend you go to Orange Kid, Apple Kid is the one that takes use the use. We dig around the trash can, there's a broken machine, which we will use that later. I'm a mouse, no one's giving me a name yet. You took me my master, and we're trying to give you this. Please take it, we have full inventory. Alright, um, I don't know what the item is. Uh, I guess I can get rid of one of my cold remedies. And you're just, we're just going through the same text again, so, uh, yeah, we need to get the receiver phone. But if we pay Orange Kid a visit, we might as well pay Orange Kid a visit. 
We can pay him $200, except we, he doesn't really have as much use. He just has a cleaner house. Talk to him. Greetings, I'm Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed by my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development, but I'm running short of cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, I'm working on this machine that would really help you in peaceful rest valley. I'm not, I hope it's racing. What? You're actually willing to help finance the project? No. But yeah, peaceful rest valley is the area east of, uh... Tucson. However, if we go to the Pole Star Preschool. I love this music. Paul is like a mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions, but I have my baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. So whistle anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. She didn't worry about Paula. She has a guardian angel, it seems. Way way to be ir an irresponsible parent right there. Well, I wanted to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. Wow, Tucson really fucking worships Paula. We guess who this Paula woman is. So, you want to see Paula? I mean, you can be a seer for Miraculous Files, but they're just leeches. So, from TV, there's your wife. Say yes. Please leave. My daughter doesn't want you to talk to media monkeys like you. I was going say no. I mean, you are not to meet. You can only decide be decided by Paula. Paula said that she would only meet up with a boy named Ness. So you're Ness. You're the one that was in Paula's dream. You will save the world. Let me go call Paula. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry. Could you come back later? Um, Paula's not there. I guess there's one thing we can kind of do is, um... Well, I actually want to go here first. Why are we going to a pizza shop? It's so I can get their phone number. Well, we don't like pizza. We don't sell pizza here. We only deliver. I'll give you our number so we can place more things down. The best pizza is mock pizza. The number is pss, pss, pss. that. Anyway, stop taking it pizza without uh, having to get 128 items from earlier. Anyway, so if we try to go down further, like um, down here further would be the route to a three. That much like how we were told earlier, let's see if I can get some enemies, because uh, we actually can encounter enemies. And, yeah, this is a new enemy. This is the annoying old party man. Now uh, he can he can uh, either uh, attack you or uh, complain about today's youth or uh, in lower your guts or s smash like that. We didn't see as uh, annoying about today's youth, but he can do that. <laughs> Yeah, start, that's typically your typical baby boomer. Anyway, so, um... The skip sandwich, we have too many stuff, so, uh... This is where to work. Actually, um... I'll just, I won't get the skip sandwich. We can leave that skip sandwich. We know what's inside there, but, uh... I only want to go down here because there is an NPC down here. It's just hot. I think the ghosts in the tunnel don't like anything upbeat and cheerful. When I was driving in the tunnel, this place is grooving dunes and the ghost moves slower. I think the ghosts can't say anything positive. Try going in here. Normally it's just walking, but there's a ghost. Woo woo woo! Go back, go back. If we try to go. Woo woo woo! So I go back and we're more persistent. Woo, 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 go back, go back. We're more persistent. Woo, woo, go back, go back. And they're all gonna leech out. And, um... So, yeah, you can't go to three yet. So, uh, we're basically. We basically have to see what this Paula. I want this. I want this. No, no. He did complain about today's use. Anyway, so I think we should get a level up out of this. We could be wrong, but uh... How close we level up? I want this damn butterfly! Come here, you little butterfly! I want you to reel my pee pee! Uh, that just sounds wrong. <laughs> yeah, if you should always chase a magic butterfly because they heal your- they heal 20 pee pee. They're good. Plus, if they're respawning ones, they can just, you know... There's two more enemies we can find here, but like, uh, 
we can do enemy manipulation. Um, I kind of want to go back and forth until I can encounter one of these enemies, so I'd get level up enemies. There's two more enemies we can find here. We haven't found either one yet, but, um... I want to see, um... Because one of the enemies we have to encounter, and I did encounter him in the fail recording, not you. And can we encounter one of the enemies we really want? You just I'm just gonna walk back up in here, back up and down, because like uh until we get what we want. You, I know I'm not speaking out of my ass. There are two new enemies. Uh, there's one of them. Anyway, so these are these are the new age retro hippies, and much like they're in Frank, it plays Johnny B. Good. You know, there are fans, there are theories for many, there are theories that, uh, well, you can also attack and solidify, you can also raise guts and all that, but like, um, there's theories going around that, like, uh, the use of Johnny B. Good and, like, other popular songs, I think mainly Johnny B. Good was, uh, the reason this game didn't get a re release for many years, um, it has been proven false, so I'm surprised he, like, got away with that, though, at the time, because, like, Chuck Berry was a musician that was notoriously strict about licensing, because, like, he almost didn't even allow- oh, new enemy. But he almost didn't even allow his song to be used in Back to the Future, that's how strict he was. Anyway, so the cranky lady, they can attack you, and I think they can attack in binds. I think they can, I think they can, I think they can multiple hit you, or I might be thinking of different enemies, I don't know. Oh, yeah, they'll just stand there. But anyway, we should get a level up out of this. Ness is now level 12. Oh, baby. Offense went up by 3. Speed went up by 2. Guts went up by 1. Luck went up by 2. Max speed went up by 3. And we realized the power of Shield Alpha. R learning Shield Alpha was why I didn't want to level up any higher during the, uh, during the, uh, in-between takes of this. Oh, more- another cop. to eat PSI Mario and instantly ended the battle like just like that. Anyway, so we're gonna go back to the hotel now. I yeah, I think get it on the bicycle so I go a little bit faster, but uh I not to get immediately get off yeah, okay, you can't hit any buttons. <laughs> I was scrolling through the damn text. Okay, I wanna get on the damn bicycle. <laughs> anyway, so um yeah, unfortunately we only get a limited use out of this. It's not really like the bicycle and Pokemon. This parallels also between the Mother series and the Pokemon series, probably because they're also Nintendo, but like they're also not both game great. Um, I don't know. Wait, I need to get out money. Yeah, we need to get out some money. Then we're here to the hotel because uh, we're also gonna get the same message again. But you also get another scene from going to the hotel. We already saw this scene back in, uh, on it. I'm not gonna read that text again. I think the game designers intend you to get it in Tucson, but you get it in on it. Because you can also in on it heal from Frank. Anyway, so, um, what we're gonna do is, uh, if you talk to this entity, well, I'll read the newspaper before you go. Here's the morning Tucson preview headline. Ghost found the inhabit tunnel of three. Now, this NPC I actually love, and I only realized it for the first time in the failed take. What? The what? Huh? Pardon? Jeez. Hmm? You're annoying. Dang me. Yeah, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, you. Later days, pal. Ahaha! Uh, it's so hot today, it rocks. Is it cold today? Oh ho ho, see ya. Here you get yourself a piece of juice or something, ka -ching. And we have fifty dollars. Um Yeah, you can basically get your money back from going to the hotel if you talk to that NPC enough times. I also learned that for the first time in the failed take. There's Paula's father. Paula, where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of pie. Anyway, so we're gonna get on our bicycle now. Uh, there's one last thing we can do in Tucson. We were told about Everdread in uh, Bergland Park, or maybe we weren't. Anyway, so uh, we still have to go to Bergland Park. 
go kind of here. <laughs> Chat later after though we've locked horns. Is that what right? Now uh he can uh he can he can steal items so he can steal some cold remedies. He stole two cold remedies. He can attack you. He knew it's bro. Okay, I wanna see if I can okay turn back from all. I don't like that he stole two cold remedies. We didn't get a level up out of that, unfortunately. Yes, I'm every good. Boss of Burden Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle and when I lost it, nothing will change that. You know, I'm pretty sure. I know that you wanted to find out about Gurling Polish. You went to a secret hideout in Peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They say that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. You can save Paula. Just sure come back here. Don't forget. Now, I think there's another way to get cold remedies in Burglin Park because you can buy items here. I don't need the ruler. I need the cold remedy. The ruler can be used later, but uh, we, there are other ways we can get the ruler, so um... Ooh. You know, I never think we could get that here. Oh, I want that, but uh, yeah, the cold, the uh, the copper bracelet is a defensive item, but I need more money. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the hotel and uh, I'll just get on the bicycle so we're faster, but uh, you know. Kind of, you know, screw the uh, cold remedies. We need that copper bracelet. I need to get out some money first. I think we need to get out like, uh, we're saying, you know, like $300. I never knew you could get the cold, the copper bracelet here, because I, I knew you could buy items in Burglin Park, and I was trying to see if I can get another cold remedy, but like, um, See, like, even I'm discovering, even I, for, who's been playing Earthbound for, like, ten years, like, even I've discovered something, some new things in this playthrough, and it happens every time you play this game. Like, it happens every time I play this game. I always something, I always, like, discover, like, a completely new thing that I didn't record, I didn't know in the previous playthrough. Like, I didn't know we are going to absolutely get a, uh, copper bracelet, because, uh, our, our defense changed from uh, 23 now. I want I want to say you can get them. We don't need the for sale sign. We don't need the. We don't need. Okay, we don't need a fresh egg. Yeah, I'm starting to hold that up. But yeah. Um. Anyway, so that's a new enemy. That's a good way to end the part on. Now this is the uh, the unassuming local guy. Now uh, I'm trying to remember what these guys are. Yeah, they just attack you like normal. Oops, I wish you could level up. And this is now level 13. Vitality went up by one. Max is being up by 12. Anyway, so I think it's the appropriate time to end this part. So uh. Next time on Earthbound, let's talk to him first. Paul's not home yet. I've read Burglar Park or something. Oh, this is how we figure out. Anyway, next time on Earthbound, we're gonna go to Peaceful Rest Valley. I'll see you guys next time.